So what am I able to do if I lose my domain? That is uh, what unfortunately happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes I will talk to clients and, or uh, you know, even people that are not clients and they'll call up and they'll say, hey, Chris, I lost my domain. Is there anything that I can do about it? Uh, I forgot to renew it. And unfortunately, the answer is uh, not much. Not much you can really do about it. The, you know, that's, that's the main reason why there's a lot of value in a company like ours and any other company that does it, that manages domain names for small business owners. It's really super important that you uh, are able to renew the website address. You cannot forget to do that. Uh, even if you miss the uh, expiration date uh, for the renewal, you'll usually get a grace period anywhere between 30 to 60 days, depending on the registrar. The registrar is the company that registers the domain name and it's really important. I mean, if, if you don't renew the domain name, it's, it's kind of like uh, forgetting to pay the mortgage on your house. You know, you don't want to forget to pay the mortgage on the house because then you're going to, you know, you're going to lose the house. The bank is going to, you know, repossess the house and you're going to lose ownership of it. Same thing with the website address. Like it's got to get paid yearly or maybe you pay every three years or five years or whatever. Um, it's it's got to be paid for. So there's not too much you can do. Um, the best case scenario if you lose the domain name is to uh, wait for the expiration date to pass. There's also services out there that will offer you an alert anytime the domain name becomes available to the public. Um, some registrars will give you the ability to do that. So like once the domain name hits the open market, they send you an alert, then you can kind of jump on it and buy it which is important because there are some uh, people that are out there that we in the industry refer to as domain trolls. And these uh, domain trolls, not only do they live under bridges, uh, but they also will try to take uh, domain names that are old. Uh, they'll look for domains that are older where they've had websites on it. And basically they'll buy the domain name uh, with the hope that like, you know, maybe they buy 10 domain names and then they try and like uh, ransom, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, resell the domain name back to the owner uh, for a larger amount of money. Their business model is kind of, uh, if they're able to sell like one or two domain names for every 10, then you know, they're, they're maybe doing pretty good. Um, but it, it, could, it could be sometimes be a couple hundred dollars, sometimes a couple thousand dollars. So you gotta watch out for people like that don't lose the domain name, domain name guys. Uh, worst case scenario, if the, one of these trolls does buy the domain name, then really the best thing that you can do is just buy a different domain name with your company name in it. Most people might not realize that uh, majority of, of the population, they're not gonna go to the search in, they're not gonna you know, open up their browser and, and you know, put your website address into the address bar and go directly to it. They're not going to go to the search engine and, and type in your website address. Most people will just go to the search engine and type in your company name. And as long as your website pops up at the top, you're going to be good. So if you lose your website address, it sucks, but you can rebuild. You can get a new domain name and work on that. And, you know, eventually everything will be all good.